What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I bought myself this lantern, TD602 in green, and we're going to try it out. Uh, I've never checked one of these out before. You can see here what it looks like. It's three modes, 350 lumens. It'll run for eight hours, but if you keep it on that low 85 lumens, it'll run for 32 hours. You know what? And if you turn it off, it'll run indefinitely. So the cool thing about this and why I picked it up is it looked like it had some interesting transformer-like features. So I want to check it out with you. And if you stick around, you know, we might just give this little bad boy away, but I won't tell you until the end. So, all right, here it is. Here it is. Let me see if I can get this whole thing in the shot. It's pretty big, man. You know, it's, it's not like those small pocket lanterns, certainly a lot bigger than the atomic beam. And it kind of looks has a little bit of a modern design. You can see here that there's a base. It is green. Oh my gosh, what happened? What'd I do? I don't even know what I did. Somehow it's on. Oh, all right, well, we're in the surprise. You do have these little silicone feet, so it should kind of stay in place. Uh, plastic construction, kind of like a high impact plastic, like a toy, and uh, that's in green. And you have what here is like a capacitive touch power button. You can see it right there. It's in this little recess because it's not a physical button, which should be nice for keeping it waterproof. And then you just tap it to scroll through the modes. A little behind this little silicon door panel here, it looks like you have a little LED light for when it's charging, a micro USB port, and then a little plug that this little male plug goes into. A little hole just like that. So that should help keep that fairly nice and watertight. And it does come with a micro USB cable, so if you were wondering, how do you charge it? Now, you'll notice up here at the top, we have a split down the middle, and we have the two kind of frosted lenses on either side. Now, there's also a little handle here with some finger notches, so it's pretty easy to carry. The thing's not super light. It's not heavy. You can tell that the weight's down here, so the battery must be down here on the bottom. Um, and so, looks like I might have busted the thing there. There we go. That's all nice and put together now. Um, but you can kind of tell all the weights down here, which is going to be nice for stability. But all of this is really kind of like standard lantern plastic LED stuff. So it feels, it doesn't feel super heavy. And you can just kind of tell that it's much lighter up here. All right. So first of all, let me just take a look at the lighting element with you. So I'm going to hit the button here. And you can see we have definitely like a warm white light. Now it might be a little hard to see, but you can see kind of dual LEDs you know six pairs of them going up and down same on both sides and we're definitely getting like a warm light right there if I hit it again it's a little slightly lower output hit it again even lower it's almost like a candle at this point and then off so those are your modes which is what we know from the structures now looks like we can open this bad boy up and inside what we have is, dun, 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 look at that. Looks like crystalline solar panels under kind of like a tempered glass, no, like a plastic. Some sort of like kind of matte finish pebbled plastic. So we have two solar panels. So you take this thing out in the wilderness with you, you fold it open like this, let it soak up the rays, and then those high efficiency LEDs should keep you lit up at night just by putting that together and turning it back on. Now, as you saw, it comes charged out of the box, but uh, you, you know, I've been pretty happy with these solar panels and given that you have two big ones like this, I think those will be pretty meaningful in terms of charging this bad boy. Obviously micro USB, you can charge it up, but that's pretty cool. So I'm, I'm kind of digging this thing. Now, I know what you're saying. How well does it work as an actual lantern? There's only one way we're gonna find out. We have to take it outside in the dark and try it. All right, guys, out here in the dark, it's pretty dark. You can't see anything, can you? I'm at my table and I've got the lantern out here and just turned it on. Had to do it by feel because I couldn't actually find it. So first of all, man, that's the high setting. Perfect working light. And in fact, lights up plenty of stuff out there. You won't be able to see it, but I can see the tree and the bushes just fine, you know, be great I love that there's warm light too it's uh it's not so it doesn't pierce my eyes like a lot of that just bright white light in fact the bugs love it too they're definitely uh getting in on the action and then we can go down to a lower level light 
and even kind of this low level, which would be perfect for kind of being at an outdoor amphitheater and listening to music or something like that. Get rid of that bug. There we go. Turn it back on. So now um, I actually kind of wondered if I could open it up and apparently you can. So if you wanted to direct a light in a certain way, you could certainly do it like that too and have kind of all the LED elements uh, showing in one direction and even kind of carrying it like a lantern. But obviously I think it's primarily meant for use like this. So pretty cool. Obviously the light works because <laughs> the bugs are all up on its business. Very, very useful. All right guys, so there you have it, man. This thing works pretty nicely. I'm pretty impressed with it. Uh, if I were going to take one lantern out in the wilderness with me, this would probably be it because I know that between the nice light that it puts out and that warm light that it puts out um, and the fact that it has built-in solar panels makes it super useful, right? You can hang this thing from a tree branch, uh, the hook in your tent, whatever. I love the various levels of lighting that you can um, activate here. And of course you can charge it with a micro USB. So let's give this away to one of you lucky pan dudes or pandettes out there for your outdoor excursions. And we're gonna give it away on August 19th, 2017. Why? I don't know, just cause I picked that day. Uh, the way you're gonna enter this giveaway is simple. Simply follow the link in the video description to the Facebook post because the Facebook page is how I'm you know, organizing these giveaways. So just follow it to the Facebook post about this lantern and like that Facebook post. Simple as that, just hit that like button. You know what, you can hit any of the emoticons for that post. In fact, you can like it, love it, sad face, happy face, whatever. And that's all gonna get you entered. So um, on the 19th of August, we will pick one random person who has emoted with the Facebook post and I'll reach out to you and make sure that you live in the United States or Canada because those are the only two places that are technically eligible because that's where I can afford to ship it to and then uh, get the sucker out to you. Um, if you don't live in those, we'll try to work out something where you, if you want to cover the cost of it, we might be able to do that. But if not, then I'll reach out to the next person and uh, see if you want this really cool solar powered camping lantern. I dig it. Peter Von Panda, out. <laughs>